Hi everyone, I'm Laura. I'm an occupational therapist and a yoga therapist. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm a retired police officer and certified meditation teacher. Today we wanted to talk to you about a category of techniques called grounding. And this is something that we use a lot of in yoga practice. Sometimes we call it the process of centering. It's kind of a transition period at the beginning of your practice that helps you to redirect your attention in a very purposeful way that can help a lot when you're experiencing distressing feelings like anxiety, overwhelm, or the symptoms of PTSD. One of the major reasons why we picked grounding is because it can be a pretty simple, efficient way of putting yourself in the moment, creating a sense of centering, redirecting your attention. In yoga, you'll hear the teachers say a lot of things about being in the present moment, but we often don't get to go into detail of how you actually take your brain from worrying about the future or ruminating about the past and bring it into the present moment. So learning grounding techniques actually gives you concrete skills when you notice that pattern happening to give yourself some space from that experience and to ground yourself or anchor yourself into the present moment so you get a little bit of relief from those feelings. Grounding isn't necessarily like a type of you're detaching from the moment or getting away from what's going on. You can actually have a situation that's pretty stressful. Other people don't necessarily have to know you're doing it, so you can do it whenever you like. It's a really nice strategy once you learn the set of tools that you can kind of keep with you in your mind. And when you start to notice that pattern of overwhelm creeping in, you know exactly what to do. And there are three main categories of grounding techniques, you might find that one specific category works better than the others for you. So it's a lot about trying out different ones and seeing which one you find to be the most effective with your symptoms. So there's three main categories of grounding techniques. Mental, the mind, physical, somatic, and soothing. When we're working with grounding techniques for the mind, you are purposely trying to direct your thoughts in a specific direction. And you could do that by reciting a poem or a prayer, thinking of a particular word, or going through a mindfulness practice where you use your thoughts to name and label things that you can recognize in your environment. The next category is physical or somatic grounding. And that is basically noticing your body sensations or using little movements to bring your attention out of your mind and into your body. So you're going to notice that certain categories work better for certain people. If you feel like you get too stuck in your mind, doing a physical grounding technique might be really helpful to shift that pattern back towards your body. And then the third category of soothing is doing something specifically that helps to relax your nervous system, bring you in the direction of rest and digest. That might be focusing on a certain smell that you find really relaxing. It could be um, a movement or a thought, so it kind of overlaps with the other two categories. But in general, uh, the process of soothing can be as simple as just speaking nicely to yourself in your mind and trying to talk yourself down into a calmer state so that you have a little bit more space from whatever that challenging experience is so that you can kind of gather yourself and then go forward and address the situation that's in front of you. So in summary, grounding is a way to put on the brakes, if you will, from those emotions that you're not wanting to have at that moment. It won't necessarily fix your symptoms, but it'll hopefully slow them down or stop them so you can be more in the present moment. So grounding is a technique that can be used anywhere, anytime, and nobody has to know that you are using these techniques. So that makes it really helpful in your day-to-day -day life. Anytime that you notice feelings are getting really strong or you're starting to feel overwhelmed, Using a grounding technique with your mind 
your body or a soothing practice can help to create some healthy emotional space so that you can calm yourself, come back to a state of feeling safe, and then move forward with whatever task is in front of you.